the safety net of round robin rugby ends today as the Hurricanes play out their final match of the regular season. After this, it is all down to cutthroat playoffs, winner take all. There's on the line here with this final match though, with a win for the Hurricanes, meaning they will top the overall leaderboard of Super Rugby 2019. Hello everyone, and welcome to Cornflex Crib, your home rugby challenge three in the final round of a match in Nathan Nichols' Be A Pro career 2019. And we're up against the Crusaders, a team that was really rubbish last season, improved a lot this season, but it's still about mid-table, not quite the challenge, hopefully, that we faced last week against the Chiefs. Their team, though, still looks pretty good. King, Misa, and El Alatoa along the front row. Dunshay, another name we recognize, partners up against Boro. Then in the back line, there's two names worth remembering there. Prinsik and Samu at seven and eight. Iono will partner them at six on the blind side. It's Andy Ellis, the evergreen Andy Ellis, still there at scrum half. And he gets a partner in Harold Vorster. Normally a center or wing, he's taking the reins at number 10 for the Crusaders. Wainui and Tualangi line up in the center. It's a very dangerous center partnership with McNichol on the left wing, Masalai on the right, and Wade at fullback. And this is a very good looking Crusader side. It's no wonder they're doing so well. As for their opponents and the Hurricanes, this is where Nathan Nichols stamps his mark. But remember, there is one change today with Jono Kitto starting a fly half outside TJ Ba'a. So Ba'a Kitto halves partnership. The pack is unchanged and performing very, very nicely as well. But how will that 9 10 go with those two together? Lama, Bayaso, Skos, and Cuthbert via the other four in the back line. Of course, Nichols at fullback will look to spark the scene into the playoffs. So it'll be the Crusaders who will kick off here, and this is interesting because what does Kitto offer? And it's pouring the frame as well, which does not help the situation. Kickoff from, I presume, Forster, and the first breakdown is made. Hurricanes with ball in hand. Bar goes away to Cuthbert, looking to make some room. He decides to kick, and that is a very good kick from Cuthbert and it's returned straight to touch by Wade. Well, early points on the kicking duel going to Hurricanes winger, Alex Cuthbert, or Cuffy, or Burt. We've got a lot of names for that young man. Well, he's not too young now, is he? All in all, it is all about Mr. Nichols, who's gonna slowly but surely creep up into this back line. It's a great take there from Fatih Lofer in the middle of the park. They go wide quickly, and Nichols, Nichols takes on his man, off loads as well. Could have kept going there. Possibly should have kept going. Early days so though, we'll let it go. Coles, great ball, out into the midfield. It's a great charging run there from Mitchell. Renton, is he gonna go short side? He does, Nathan Nichols slides through. There's the opening try. That was too easy. Massive numbers to the left. And Nichols just zips through, like his legs. A bolt of lightning strikes the Crusaders. That's good. A good start. I didn't want to get bogged down here like we did against the Chiefs. Straight through between 10 and 8. There was no chance of them stopping Nichols that close. Look at him guiding the players around. Renton goes bang. There's nothing Musselai could do there. He had to stay wide. And that gave the opening for Nichols too quick. For Vorster, which is saying something, because Vorster is a lightning fast man himself. But we know Nichols, the quickest man in world rugby. Grabs himself another try inside 10 minutes as well. Inside 7 minutes and the conversion. Great start here for the Canes. So like I was saying at the start, win this, and they secure top spot, lose it, and it could get interesting with a few other sides in action. But they lead now early on against the Crusaders. A great offload as well, Kitto getting in the action. Nichols, well he wants to help out here. 
But he's kind of just stood in the way. You don't know what he's quite doing. And the ball comes free. And the Crusaders pick it up. Nichols quickly on the action. Shuts it down and he goes straight back to. No messing about there from Nichols. Let's turn over and. Oh. It kicked. It was fully my fault from Vi for feet it, but. On we go. Let's not talk about that. Trying to turn it over. Smashing the hell out of the turnover button. That's not straight. It has been turned over though. Let's go, boys. Kitto. Oh, he steps and he offloads. Still going here, the Canes. It's a great ball from Coles to Nichols. Nichols too fast for Wade. And Nichols is in. Try number two. Running me is complete. Tries complete. This game is complete. Once again, turning nothing into something. He just about got caught there. Masai in two minds once again. Two men outside of Nichols had enough to squeak through. Great play here. Kitto and Laumape. Coles did very well too. And just that shifting, changing direction and angle from Nathan Nichols gives them the great start that they wanted. Two tries on the board, both under the black dots. And you would expect over it is where this kick is going to go. Slight breeze pushing to his left there for Nichols, but he makes no errors. Over it goes, 14 0 the score. And you got to say, the dream the Crusaders have of. Pulling off an upset here has quickly gone to bed. They had hopes of making the playoffs. They could be down the toilet if this match gets away on them. Great take there again. Hurricanes are all over this game at the moment. The Chiefs are a challenge. These Crusaders, though, not proving to be much of one at the moment. It's, here's a good round from Davis. Guess I'm near the 10-meter line. They choose to go short side. Nichols is doing support there. Great ball float as well. Nichols! Oh, just couldn't make it away. That would have been an amazing try. Davis goes stick. Coles fires wide. We'll keep an eye on the action here. There's so many numbers out wide. It's a great play from the Hurricanes. They're still going. Out of the tackle goes another one. Scores and is it. No, it's no more play. What a try. What a try from Manela Mape. He has scored one of the great Hurricanes try of the season. Funny low for those, all the big boys out there for Fita, but then finally, look at that dummy. Dummy the show and tell around the corner and puts it over the line. This is superb. Highlight real stuff. Gets out of one. Look at that dummy. Oh, that was superb. A joy to watch from La Mape. He's making himself known here in the middle of this Hurricanes back line. Nichols almost squeaked through the other side. Quickly shift of play. Out to the left and a try was scored. A glorious try too. Here is Nathan Nichols. Not even 20 minutes gone and the Hurricanes are up 21 to nil. Doing it easy at the moment. Crusaders showing the golfing class between one and two and the rest. They need to learn how to defend because their season is quickly slipping to over. If they don't get something out of this game. Deep kick this time over the head of Nathan Nichols and Dane Coles now. Oh, no one's helping out. What's going on? We've lost the ball. Quickly it shifts by the Crusaders. Nichols called into action. And he makes no mistake about that. Putting Nassilai into touch. Andy Ellis. Good move there by the Crusaders. So you've got to say, they shifted well. They drew and pass well. But they just ran out of numbers. Nichols loves shutting down an overlap. Got it again here, the Crusaders. They've turned over the line out, which is a bit of a shame. Ellis isn't playing scrum half, but they look wide. They don't get there, though. Some great defense and an injury as well. Manu Tuolangi. 
Well, the big name signing is going off with what looks like neck or concussion. Burden is coming on to take his place, but how big a blow is that? No Tuolangi in the midfield. He was their go-to, which he's not done much Crouch. yet, but just when they look to Fine. get him in the game. Set. It has all gone to custard. We don't want to be in the line, do we? Yeah, okay, you, you bugger off over there, Cuffy. What happened in the scrum? It's, it's, it's not moved an inch. But the Crusaders come away with it. They go to Nichols' side on the right. It's two on one. Nichols makes a tackle. They keep it alive here. Crusaders doing well. Release. Still there. 10 meters out. Maybe 12 now Release. with that tackle. Nichols doesn't have much room to play if he's got to follow it very, very closely. They're going to go wide. They do. It's three on two. They go out there nicely. Muscle eye on Nichols. Oh, Nichols has busted away. But a great saving tackle. Shuts down the Crusaders attack. Masalai 101. Big, big hit. That was monstrous. That was another highlight reel play. Not for anyone who likes seeing Nichols succeed, but that was just superb as well. Glorious rugby by the Crusaders. Release. But unfortunately for them, they have not come away with any points from that. Great little drop off load there. On their own 10 meter line here, the Crusaders have shown they can make the attack pay, and once again they do. Now they've got the numbers to burn it as well. Shrugging off one. Masalai again. He is a danger. 30 minutes gone. It's been all Crusaders over the last 10, that is for sure. Hurricanes line out. We lost the last one. Don't lose this one, which they. Do the job. Va. Kitto. Deep ball. Fine. Oh, no. What's going on? The rain is playing havoc. I mean, we've done well. We're three tries up. But that Crouch. is not good. Find. Getting into playoffs. Set. A little bit of rain is putting Nichols off his game here. Feed by Ellis. They wait for it at the back. The Crusaders. Ellis goes to our left side defense once again. Who is that? Masalai. Oh, they cut it in. Still off vote is good. Masalai does not get the ball. Turnover? Not quite. He is a real danger, Masalai. We have to watch him like a hawk. There he is. I'm just going to watch Masalai. I don't want to. I don't care about anyone else. Here he is. He's quick. Get him, Skozan. Good boy. If we're going to lose this game or we're going to concede points, that man will be the one to do it. We have spent the last 17 minutes in our half. I thought this game was going to be easy. The Crusaders have finally shown up. A little bit late, but showing up they have. Laomape, dummies. Laomape goes straight through the middle. What an offload as well from Laomape. Nichols quickly gets in to help out. He has a little run away from Eves. Oh, he's held up. They spin wide. Inside ball to Nichols. Oh, high. High tackle on Nichols there. He's up the captain. He is the captain, so he says... Let's have a go, boys. It's full time, Nichols. Oh, it's hard too much to say, but it's irrelevant because Nichols just does the unthinkable all by himself. What a way to finish the half. I thought, I thought the Crusaders were going to close this one out, but a silky smooth run from Nathan Nichols. Laid on just ridiculously well. How did he get through that gap? He sent Ward completely the wrong way. And after so much domination by the Crusaders, Nathan Nichols turns around a quick tap and goes all the way after a great break from Laomape.
Conversion attempt in the pouring rain. It's over. And Nichols just makes this game look ridiculously easy sometimes. His team supports him so well. He was monstered in one hit. He was covered perfectly. He does very little wrong. One knock on today. But look at this. Possession. All one way traffic. 74% is domination. And you've got to think the Crusaders spent from the 21st, 22nd minute to the 36th or 37th was all in the Hurricanes half. They should have scored. They could have scored. They would have if it wasn't for Nathan Nichols slowing them down. Masalai has been amazing. Nichols has been spectacular. All in all, though, the scoreboard not representing this game at all too well. At 28-0, Hurricanes leading the Crusaders. Well, you got to say this game is in the bag, but the Crusaders could still change a lot to do a fair season. They need points. And they need to get back in this game. High one from Nichols. Oh, it was so good too. But it was eventually knocked on. Release. Great take, though. They're going down the short side. Crossfield kick. Advantage Saw over. that coming a mile away. Advantage is over. Nichols will regather it. He's got Alex Cuffey with him. He's going to use the burners. And he does them well. He does them too well. And he's going all the way. That is insane. Absolutely insane. Who is that Borton guy that come on? He just got skinned. Like a possum in the night, left to dust. Unbelievable. Well, Ward did well to cut off the angle, but he just cannot kick to a fullback like this. Too much speed. He backed himself, was swatting him away. Gave himself a little bit of an air boost. And then come across, respect to Ward, just puts the ball down and backs himself as a goal kicker to put it over. Well, if you've heard of peaking before finals, this is it right here, folks. They look hot, but will they carry it on? It's better than being concerned, I guess. But they are destroying these Crusaders. 35 nil the score. Back it comes to Johnny McNichol. What can he do? He's done nothing tonight for his team. It's been all muscle light. He's the only one that's made any impact in this game. Great take there, though. Nichols has to make one more tackle. He's got up and contested for the ball, but not been successful. Oh, he, oh dear, he could make it. Could, no, he's given it away. And away go the Crusaders for their first try of the game. Well, you've got to give them credit. Nichols stayed up to make that fifth hit. And Tana Ioni scores a great try. Slips around the corner and away it goes. Iono? I can't remember what I called him at start. Just want to call him Tiny Ioni, but we'll call him Iono. Because that's a bit more realistic. This is a superb play. Nichols, you saw him floundering about. There was someone back, but they were behind the end goal line, which just does not help the situation. That's all. You've got to credit him. Crusaders never gave up. And that helps them as well. Because they've got to make that top list of teams in the playoffs. I can't remember where they're sitting, but they're near the cutoff. Johnny McNichol needs that. He's not got it. Frustration, of course. Harold Vorster at 10. What a backline this was. Vorster, Tuolangi. Although he's off injured now. McNichol, Masalai. It was excitement machines out there for the Crusaders. That's why they've done a lot better this season than the last. High one from Nichols. A good piece of defense. That's got to be a turnover. Come on. Uh, we want it, we, well, It's only 48th minute. Let's just clean this up. We'll smash Please. Andy Ellis. Who is back? I hope someone's back. Because, oh, how have I shipped out of there very quickly? Okay. Wasn't expecting to see myself up and running that fast. 
Turnover. Oh, that's tight. Half an hour to go. 35-5. Short ball. Good one as well. Double round. Getting it back. Oh, that is superb from the Crusaders. Can they link up on? No, they had to pass. Release. Cuthbert was in there and he absolutely shot out like a bullet. And made a hammering tackle on the ball runner. What am I doing here? What am I doing? No, 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 no. What am I doing? Nathan, get your head in the game, boy. Another great run here by the Crusaders, though. Release. You cannot put this team down. The midfield starting to get involved. Oh, we turn it over. Hello, we got the ball back. Let's go. Deck to Nichols. Oh, my goodness me. What a terrible pass. He's just given position straight back. Don't go short side. Oh, but Masalai was in with a grin there. Nichols has his back. He's offside. We can skin him. We we'll skin them all. We could go all the way here. Across comes Ward. We'll chip him over the top. Regather this Nathan. Get it, Nathan. Out of one. Oh, that's over. What a try. Ridiculously good skill from Nichols. Didn't know if he was going to make it, but the little skip out of the first tackle. And you've got to say, Ward has been left for dust. Done shaded well, Ward. Well, he don't see the last play there, but he did get over the, ball, over the line with the ball. This chip, though, the ability to look in field. We don't get to get out of the way. What are you doing, you stupid idiots? Nichols has had an absolute screamer. I don't think we've had a good game like this in quite a number of weeks. And you know what's sad for the Crusaders? Is there's still 23 minutes to go. Over goes another conversion. Nathan Nichols putting the Crusaders to the sword. Use their own saying against them, but that is how this game has gone. Final round Robin match. Johnny McNichol once more. Smacks his high. He's run out of ideas completely. Offload Lamape. Ooh, could have been on something there, buddy. Bah. Far, what are you doing? Idiot play. Come on. Short side. Short side. Quick. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, we've lost that. We've lost that like a flash. Oh, my goodness me. Release. Picked up and driven back into last month. But they do not go down here, the Release. Crusaders. They continue to fight. Skozan, you're off your wing. Well, what are you doing? Muscleize out here unmarked. We're in trouble. It's two on one. Nichols puts him down. Not releasing. And there's a penalty to boot. That has been the worst injury they could have had. And now Nichols has the simple task of drilling this into touch. Oh dear. No, he has done it just. Just despite the best efforts there of the Crusaders to keep it in. Man, one on one tackle. Steals the ball. Well, steals the tackle. Turns the ball over by not releasing. What a play by Nichols. Funny Lofa pulls it down, and they use the back line nicely here. Little short passes. Keep it tight as we maul it upfield. Is the ball loose? It is. We can see it. They choose left side. They got numbers. Oh, they bulldoze their numbers as well. Skosan, left wing. And he is scragged in the touch. Good blocking. Couldn't get the offload away. Skosan's been quiet. Kito, what has he done today? Nothing. Why am I in the... Well... I can see why I'm in the line, but I'm going to scoop backwards straight away. 42-5 is a score. Nichols has stopped at least two tries for the Crusaders as they shrug through more tackles. Our defense has been diabolical tonight. Is it the rain? I'm not sure. Great little short passes once more. The Crusaders, they go straight through. Police. They are causing us huge problems here. Our defending is way Release. off the mark. They're going to go to Masalai. Oh, no, they're not. That's a turnover. 
And that is a big thumper downfield, which I didn't really want to do, but I'm pretty happy with this result. Oh, yes. Who was that, Va? No, it was us. So good work, Vinny. Vince Asso smacks that long, and we are in the 22. Can you believe it? They've been smashing us. Phase after phase after phase. They break our line constantly, yet no reward for the men in red. Here we go again. They're through once more. We need to shut them down. They've come wide. Oh, there are so many on one here. So many on one. Oh, we cooked them into it. And the intercept. It is Vince Asso. Take a bow, son. Why is it taking so long here? Short ball. Oh, Renton. That could have been nice. We were set up for that. Huey. Oh, no. The arms went in the air. And Fafita spills that one. The coffee he didn't want first thing in the morning. Too hot, he says. Too hot. <laughs> Last chance Ouch. now for the Crusaders. Andy Fine. Ellis ball in hand. There is five to go. Set. Can they find a finishing play? I mean, Nichols has done exceptionally well. And you can say the Crusaders could have easily scored four or five tries here. Three of them, he took on more men than himself and still stopped. Look how they manipulate the space so well. This isn't good for future matches here. Johnny McNichol has the ball out wide through the dummy. We just slow them down enough, don't we? There's a massive hole here. They've gone deep. Looking to use it. They break tackles. Well, the Crusaders. 78 minutes gone. One more in there. I don't worry about our scoring now. I just want to keep these Crusaders Boys. out. We've got five. They deserve so much more, but credit to us. We played well. They are just 10 out. Change of direction. Works very well. Oh my goodness. We are so clustered up. Masalai out wide. Gets the pass. Inside ball. Well deserved try. Put it down, man. What's going on? I didn't quite see the finish. I thought he'd put it down right at the start. But that is credit. I mean, you've got to give it there to the Crusaders. Should have scored four, five, six tries. This game should have been an 80, 90 point thriller. But instead, it's not been that way. Great work here. Inside pass. And he, he took his sweet time, didn't he? Goodness me. I thought he was going to overcook it there big time as he went too far. But this one, Masalai's done all right on the outside. Offload was exceptional. Double offload was exceptional. And then the finisher kings. You've got to say, that was very good. They've shown me enough here tonight, the Crusaders. Shown me enough to be worried that if they're in the playoffs, we could be in for fright. The Chiefs were very good. The Crusaders, their goal kicking was just off but they played very well on another day they could have easily been 42 35 or something along those lines but there is full time the hurricanes get the win it looked comfortable on the score sheet if you didn't watch the game you'd say that is perfect build up but it was worrying for the hurricanes just how well that crusaders team played we took our chances they did not nichols Overall, if he doesn't rate a 10 in this game, I'll be shocked. Because defensively, he was magnificent. Attacking, he was superb. Brilliant. Overall, that was one of the best games I've seen Nathan Nichols play. Six tries to two again doesn't reflect the game. Wow, especially when five were to Nichols and just one was to La Mape. I, I didn't realize he scored that many tries. It was just that, that one-sided. Six out of six on the tee. Iono and Princip scored one apiece for the Crusaders. I mean, Masalai deserved a hat trick. He played that well. Just got no reward with his time on the ball. But the stats come down like you saw the Crusaders. They struggled for possession in the first half. Second, very much more even. 55-45 to the Canes. Territory 52-48. Line breaks, 9-7. to seven. I mean, the Crusaders made many, many, many line breaks their second half. Just didn't finish the chances that they got. 
The injury to Tuolangi, did that change the game? I think so, because Burden was absolute rubbish, and he managed to give them no extra off the bench. But 42-10, a great win. Good confidence going forward. But I don't think we're as hot favourites as we thought we were a month ago. How did Mr Nichols go? Five tries, six conversions, four line breaks. One offload, so we got a try without breaking the line. That's how good he is. Eight tackles, two handing errors, but only one was a knock-on. Didn't concede any penalties. Of course, I think drop goals was in our objectives today, so we won't begin that one. But what a game from Nichols. I am really hoping for a 10, or at least a 9.8, because that was our performance of the regular season. Well, a successful day in the office. That is grass and mud and rain today for, I think, one of the first times this season as well. Needed five tackles. We made eight. Of course, we said drop goals was there. We didn't even get a shot. But we did smack one over a few weeks ago, which was nice to get. Handing errors, we made one. We were allowed to make two. Well, no, no, we had to make less than two. So one was our limit. We scored five tries. We were only meant to score one or targeting one. 334 metres, our target was 65. Okay, so a lot of stats nearing the 100 mark. Doesn't look like we're going to get any up there, though, with just small increases across the board. 0.5 going on fitness, 0.1 on speed and acceleration, which isn't too much. 0.3 on aggression, 0.4 on agility, 0.8 on tackling, 0.2 on passing, 0.4 on catching, 0.3 on strength, and 0.6 on mental, which is already max. Concerning thing out of that game, Tackling is up 0.8, but we did get bulldozed a couple of times by Masalai. So our tackling is good, but we can still get squashed if the right player comes along. There you go. There you go. 10. The perfect 10 by Nathan Nichols. Three points for the try, one for the running meters, only 0.5 for kicking. Eight tackles gets us one. 0.8 for line breaks. And point two for the offload. Dropped a little bit for that couple of handing errors and couple of three missed tackles. But a perfect 10 by Nathan Nichols. You can call him the perfect 10 now. I think that's the second or third of the series, which is showing how good he really is in this World Rugby Be a Pro series. Right, interest from around the world, Hurricanes, of course, Crusaders, of course, as well. And plenty of other mugs wanting a piece of nickels. Which remember, I think it's only what? Maybe only two games away now. Because this is old format Super Rugby. So let's take a look at how this is going to go. Oh no! What a semi-final! Oh no! Oh no! We need lost these guys two weeks ago. Now we got to play them at Westpac. The Caton. Well, get the biscuits ready. This one's going to be an absolute Walker. Let's see how the competition went first. Of course, semi-finals and playoffs underway. But in New Zealand, it was Hurricanes, Chiefs, Crusaders still got third, but did they make the playoffs? So we have to look. Um, the Blues and the Highlanders round out the five. In South Africa, Bulls, Cheetahs, Lions, Sharks, and Stormers. Um, a bit of a battle going on for second and fourth and fifth. So Stormers losing out there as did the Lions. In Australia, Waratahs well in front. Bit of a battle going on for the wooden spoon there. The Western Force end up picking that up. Overall, though, Hurricanes stop the table. Top six. Oh, the Crusaders, they made it. Finishing six. Brumbies and Lions, seven and eight. Hurricanes, Bulls, Waratahs, Chiefs, Cheetahs. That is your top five. So top four, two from New Zealand, one from Australia and South Africa. Foot of the table. Western Force as well. Reds, Highlanders, the worst of New Zealand, along with the Blues. Okay, so let's see. Preliminary finals. Oh, the Crusaders, they did it. They beat the Waratahs. Wow. Waratahs were a top four finishing side, weren't they? Yeah, they got third. Wow, they've been pipped away. So Waratahs are gone. And no surprise, the Chiefs smashing the Cheetahs. That leaves... Four teams, three from New Zealand, one from South Africa. No Australian teams remain. 
that is something out of the top draw, isn't it? The Crusaders could be finalists. I mean, we just played Chiefs Crusaders last two games of the round robin. We could go Chiefs Crusaders again, or we'll go Chiefs Bulls. It could go two very hard games, or it could go hard, and then I'd expect the Bulls at the Cacton shouldn't be as difficult as the Chiefs. But if we get past the Chiefs, we are well and truly favourites here. How though? Man, the Chiefs are going to be one hell of a matchup. I cannot wait for next episode. Cannot wait for the next one. Stats wise, let's have a look at where we finish up the regular season. Um, three on 99 speed, acceleration, and aggression. Um, then we have 99 on goal kicking as well. And a few on 96 down there as well. But overall, we are killing it on the stats. Contract interest, Crusaders are max now after that game. We could meet them in the final. Man, the Crusaders were dead last last season. Now they are top four. 50% chance of making the final. They do have to go to Africa, though, and then they'll have to come back if they do win. Tough ask for the Crusaders. Wasps, Chiefs, Falcons, uh, Highlanders. A lot of Super Rugby sides coming into this now. We're playing them all, which gives them a bigger boost. But as always, a lot of interest from around the world of rugby. Where do we go next season? That's only going to be at least one episode away, at most two. So if we win Super Rugby, it's only two matches away. So get your thinking caps on before today. That is us once again, done and dusted. A big, big win. But how about those playoffs? It looks like it's going to be an exciting postseason. So get your big hats on and get ready for some playoff action in Super Rugby. 2019. Thanks for watching you today, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.